Okay, it is Monday morning and it's day seven of um, seven items per day for seven days. Although very often I have actually, um, you know, taken out more than that. It is in categories um, in Hubby's shed ready for when it can go to the tip or to the charity shop or just general rubbish. So um, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to quickly um, just explain what I've done today. I've spent the whole day off and on keeping laundry up to date, doing my 30 minute tidy up, still have to have things done, and my tent item pickup. But I've been actually going through all my underwear. Now, I'm sure you can understand it's not something that I particularly want to share. I don't feel comfortable, but I will quickly explain how I do arrange it and it makes it a lot easier and to tell you the truth um, my underwear drawers weren't messy but like I said this time of year especially in January I do review everything and I had a massive massive sort out underwear is something that I've held off on but I finally thought no I'm going to be strict about this and I have got rid of an awful lot. Now, I'm going to just quickly give you um, a peek of how I organise it. But I don't want to dwell on that because it is private. So these are the drawers at the end of our bed. So what I've done is I store my bras also in colour coordinated. They're in these um, plastic things that I got from B&M. And this is how I arrange them. I can see the colours. I can see how they're arranged. And they don't get squished. And pants are the same. Um, they're sort of in colours. But I'm going to quickly show you um, how I actually sort of file them, fold them. So say that's the pair of pants. All I do is like that, like that, like that. And that's how they're actually filed in my drawer so I can see, you know, what they are and the colour. Um, I do have a lot of underwear sets, so they're sort of sets together and they're in the bottom drawer. So I just wanted to quickly show you that just for the fact that that's how I organise it. I do not want to dwell on that too much due to privacy. Right, so... I did actually was so strict on this category and I know this one's not going to be a long um, video but you can get the gist of how I sort things out from when I've done t-shirts when I've done any of my sorting it's by item and by colour and if it's something that I'm not sure about I'll come back to the usual example of say three orange t-shirts that near enough the same shade try and get rid of one if you're going to keep two if you can do it the other way around all well and good but if not if you've got three t-shirts of the same color get rid of one and that's how i've done it with a lot of the underwear although i was very strict and there was quite a lot of underwear that i haven't actually worn i don't think most of last year again as i said before you wear 20% of your clothing 80% of the time. I think that goes right across the board. Um, as I said, I think you can just see the um, colour now in the light. <laughs> but this is the large bag. And believe it or not, I couldn't believe it. How much I actually managed to get um, rid of. And the one category I can um, safely and feel okay to um, share due to the fact that I've shown you t-shirts and I think it's like the vest tops and I've got um, a number here and as I said these are the sort of things like these they are going to offer to a family member to see if they want them because they've actually got tags on I haven't worn them um, so that's what I will but it's all these like um, sort of vest tops that I haven't been wearing I'd rather wear to tell you the truth, like these, I'd rather wear a t-shirt under a sweatshirt and things like that. And believe it or not, um, I don't know how you like to say this, pants, briefs, 
um, knickers, whichever you like to describe it because different countries call them different things, bras and vests. I actually counted 42 items, that's a whole bag there, 42 items of underwear. I really was very strict. I still have got a fair bit, I must admit, um, but some of it is new, so I've took the tags off and sort of take out the older stuff. I don't know about anybody else, but when you go away, you like, I don't know if you are the same, you like new um, clothes, underwear and everything. And due to the fact we did go away on a couple of mini breaks and we went to Warwickshire for just over a week, but um, we didn't go away like we normally do. We normally go two weeks in Cornwall and things like that and Dorset, and we didn't do any of that. So what I've done is I've taken all the tags off and I thought, I'm going to start using them. And as I said, when I'm out and about, especially Prime, like I said, there's a number of things that I have on my list at the beginning of the year, if not after each season, that I normally stock up. And because we're not going shopping, um, we're on lockdown, so shop your wardrobes and your chest of drawers or whatever and see what you can use, what you obviously review it and see what you haven't worn. You may be slightly surprised on what you find. So I know this is a short um, video, but it is getting late. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.